Let's get cozy. This is cozy. Hi. Um, and welcome to my sketchbooks tour of this year. I started all of them in this year and I only finished this one, but I will tell you about it later what's going on with so many sketchbooks of this year. Um, so I, I just, I just, I don't know how to do an intro, so I'm, I'm just getting started. Look at this cute front page. I just get got some gel markers and I just draw stuff on it. <laughs> like um, like some, some rules, how to draw faces and how the body is put into sections and stuff like that. It's not pretty good, but still, <laughs> I was re really proud of it. And the reason why I'm starting it from the back is because I'm left-handed and I really hate to to do it like that, you know? It's annoying and I don't like it. So I was like, I will start all my sketchbooks on the wrong side, but it's the right side because I'm left-handed and yeah, you know. Okay, just we get started. I started this sketchbook in January and finished it in September. On this page, don't read it. Just don't don't read it. You can't read it because I blurred it. Um, I just put some keywords, what this year was about, what I wished for, what changed and stuff like that just to have some yeah, memories, what happened in this year. And I'm doing this to all my sketchbooks, so I know what kind of era I'm in, in this sketchbook. Uh, to remind myself where I was and how I developed myself. Okay, let's get started. Um, the very first page, page, page was me drawing some geometrical forms, nothing special, just to warm up. I didn't do this on one day, I just I just started with some circles, the next day I did some triangles and um, cubes, I don't know what's called in English, and so on. So when I was bored or I wanted to getting warm for drawing, I just I just used this page. Next page, just, just, just. I had the same idea, but I was like, I will draw some like straight lines and be so cool and draw straight lines. <laughs> you have to practice them. Really, you have to practice them. Yeah. So the first drawing was a rose. I drew them, I, I copied them from a reference and I drew them like how my drawing skills were at this point, so I know where I'm starting and where I get in the end of the book. I think I draw some flowers in the end. Yeah, I don't know, we see it. <laughs> and we see how far I went from this. <laughs> yeah. Next page. Um, some more flowers, like the bellflower. It doesn't pretty <laughs> really look so good. But it's okay. I like it. I like that I had the courage to draw it like it is and not to rip out the page and be like, I will start from the beginning because this is ugly. I had to see this myself. I had to see how I'm developing over the time. So I left it and this hurts so much. But it was a really nice advice. I don't know from who I heard it, from, I don't know, many, many, Artists on YouTube say that you have to be okay with drawing ugly. And this was like the whole theme of everything I'm drawing right now. Okay, there is another page with eyes. And I thought this was pretty good. And then I drew eyes in the next sketchbook and then I was like, this is not good at all. <laughs> but it's okay, I started here, I'm happy. I, I also put some dates on it so I knew 
when I drew which eye, so I was like ke uh, keeping track on when, when, what happened. You know what I mean. Let's go to the next page. It was practicing and drawing some potion bottles. Here I, <laughs> here I wanted to draw like a forest and with like a cloudy sky and it didn't work at all. But I was like, I saw it like this. I thought I will, I will like scratch some clouds in the sky and somehow it will turn into a good drawing but it did not because I didn't know how to draw clouds in the first place or how to draw trees in the first place so I had to learn this still then here I was like yeah I will draw I need to draw some zodiac tattoo designs and we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Here are my first faces. Like I started <laughs> with this one and that one and um, they're not pretty good. And at this point I bought a book from... I will insert a name here. I forgot the name, I'm so sorry. And I learned some autonomy and especially autonomy with faces and yeah you see it's it's getting better already I also have many notes in this book so I knew what I wanted to um, focus on more and what I see what I have to be more consistent of I don't know yeah. here is one of my favorite pages because I drew this and I still I still think it look it looks good I think I will draw it a little bit differently today but for this level of drawing at this time this is much later this is in August and this is still um, March May July stuff and this is in March and you know you see ah, I went from this horrible shading to this beauty of a school. And then I wanted to <laughs> draw a ribcage and then I realized I had to have so much patience. And I also wrote it here. It's in German, but it, it means patience, patience, patience. <sighs> Let's go. Here I drew some hand autonomy. I was holding like a bottle. And here I was drawing um, the hand of Moira from Overwatch <laughs> uh, while I was waiting for the next match to begin. And here is a full page of stuff I saw when I was outside. Here I drew a plant. I saw on my shelf and this was the time I was like learning about how to draw stuff from reality but I still didn't use the techniques and I I catched myself doing that and I was like no I will leave it like that and use the rules and it looks so much better look at this this was the first time I realized oh I'm getting better here is again stuff I saw. I saw a shoe, I saw a hammer for um, breaking a glass when you're in an accident in a bus. Uh, this was a dude on a bus stop, this was a child on a bus, this was a dude in the U-Bahn. And as you can see, he's way much bigger than the seat and I realized that very, very late. But I thought this was funny. Oh, don't look. <laughs> um, in the book from... Uh, she said you can also copy stuff when you see it upside down. And I thought this was a good idea. But when I 
when I saw this, I didn't think this was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Here I wanted to draw some stuff I saw again. I don't know what this is. I can't recognize it anymore. Like it was like a little tree branch, stuff like that. And yeah, it wasn't like, I, I saw it and I, I drew it like a, I like a child, I think. Here I was like using a pen, pencil, and just do this. And then I tried to see like any face or something like that. So this one happened. Then I saw a brain, I saw a brain. I didn't see a brain. I had a um, poster of a brain on the wall because I was studying psychology. And I was like, I wanna draw this instead of studying. <laughs> Um, yeah, I won't show this page because it's very personal for me. Again, something, stuff I saw, <laughs> like a tree, there is a bush, there is a little path, and uh, some stairs, a little garden. Yeah, I was just try to copy from reality and I, I like the sh uh, the shadow and light stuff like this was the first time I really saw it in real life like I, I, I saw lights and shadows in real life but I didn't recognize it like that so I'm pretty proud of this here I just used my old colored pencil from um, I don't know not even middle school I think elementary school and just wanted to do a cute, funny page. It was a lot of fun. I, it took me like five days or so, not because it's so much work, but I started and then I didn't want to continue and draw something else. So every time I was like, yeah, I have to, I, not I have to, but I want to use something colorful I came back to this page and then put the dots in there and the colors and stuff like that. And here I drew some lines, tried to um, be symm symmetrical. I don't know if it's called like that, but just be exact on the same line, but just a little bit parallel to the last line. Yeah. Here I drew some jellyfishes underwater. I know you can't see them a lot, but uh, the reference photo is this one. I um, was at an aquarium some years ago, so I wanted to draw this painting because this, this, not this painting, this photo, because it's so pretty, I think. Okay, here is my very first I will do some tattoos page. It's a fun site, I will never tattoo them. Maybe, maybe, but I just wanted to do some line work and I did a poll on Instagram where I asked what I have to what I should draw and someone said a um, shark, someone else said a, a dragonfly on a small chicken, I don't know what's called in English, the baby chicken. Um, strawberries, a plant, yeah, and here are just like something I saw or came up with. Here I wanted to draw my glasses and I didn't want to finish this because I didn't like it. Oh my god. I won't tell you who this is supposed to be, but I tried to do like a contrast drawing and um, I used a pencil or some pencils with different um, strengths and yeah this looks okay it um, was a little bit of a nightmare for me <laughs> okay legs hands and feet I was very serious about anatomy and this was like the first attempt on hands, legs, feet, arms, and so on. I really like this page because 
Like this is my own hand with shorter nails, but you can see, you can see the, the, <laughs> the similarities. Um, I did some ge geometry again, and here I draw <laughs> an alpaca I won at the at the dome in Hamburg. More geometry. And here is this, here is <clears throat> this one, just with acrylic paints. <laughs> and you still can't see who this is. And I'm pretty happy about it, <laughs> that you can't see it. It's just, no, it's an insult for this person. I won't, I, I don't know. I love this page. I love it so much because I got some new pens, those ink pens from uh, Faber Castell, the uh, pen fine liner, and they're so good, and I love it, and I love to draw like, yeah, ink stuff, especially manga stuff. It's so, oh, <clears throat> yeah. Here is more line line art work. Here I draw a little fox and I fucking love him. He is so cute. He is so cute. Look at him. Oh. Here is again a page of something I saw. I was sitting on a tiny lake and um, I'm living near the airport so there are airplanes a lot. There are a lot of airplanes. Oh my gosh. I'm too tired for this, but I want to film this video. Next page, cats. Cats are the best. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> and more cats, yay. Here is, again, some autonomy stuff. <laughs> and I can't show this, but on this note, there is, um, an appointment uh, I got finally for my therapy <laughs> uh, while I was drawing they called me while I was drawing and and I was like I have no extra paper so I have to draw it like draw it write it into my sketchbook it's a little cute reminder that I'm mentally ill more anatomy more stuff I saw and here I bought, oh my gosh, I bought uh, um, colored pencils, uh, not colored pencils, watercolor set um, and tried it out. And I realized that this paper is not made for watercolors. This is the um, watercolor set. Okay, and I tried to do some portrait drawings. Here I wanted to draw my grandma and the drawing didn't look so good, so I canceled doing this. I want to draw a little bit. She deserved to be drawn really pretty, so I didn't finish this. Here I wanted to do, <laughs> do some uh, watercolor. Um, paintings and I was impatient I was completely impatient I couldn't wait for the paint to dry so this is what happened and this is what I have to learn you know here I used some colored pencils at first like I just did this and try to see any form like stuff I can see in those blobs and here again just love this twerking <laughs> figure <laughs> um, here I used just one line I was really proud of this here I used just one line I'm not pretty proud of this <laughs> uh, here I wanted to draw some mushrooms then I didn't want to draw some mushrooms, so I didn't finish the whole page. Here I was 
um, outside. <laughs> it's a real life drawing. And uh, did a sketch on this building. And I finished this painting at home with um, watercolors. I like it. It's like, it's not perfect, but it looks like it belongs in some kind of book or something like a little painting that is not too perfect. Here I have some more faces and you see, you can see now the differences from this to this. And I'm, I'm so proud of this. It's, you can see how I improved and it's so cool. Yeah. Here I drew some hands. The shading is horrible, but I accepted it. <laughs> um, this is actually hands from friends of mine. Here I used some, um, what are they called? Uh, crayons? Crayons. Waxed crayons. Here I wanted to draw some faces without reference and then I realized I have to use references. Then I used another that reference and draw this drawing. I like it. It's so cool. Also, especially the, the fabric um, game I did here is, is pretty good. I, I did a pretty good job, I think. Here are some legs and butts. And here is another watercolor painting. And I think I still have a video I can upload of this. I think. I didn't upload it. No. I will upload it soon, okay? And here I used my still my old colored pencils. And on this day I decided I have to buy some good colored pencils because I didn't have the variety of colors so I bought them here another one Avatar Kiyoshi my queen my hero I will do everything on me step on me mommy and here is a scene of uh, house moving castle fucking love it I fucking love like this part Here I, <laughs> I draw the um, painting that is hanging in Bob's Burgers restaurant in the background and I was like, I have to draw this. I have to. I was laying in bed, I was sick and I had to draw this. Here are more hands drawn with purple colored pencil. I like this. I like this one. It's, it's cool. Then I drew this and I thought I can draw it bigger with this reference and it doesn't look so good. <laughs> but still, I like this one a lot. Here are more anime men. And here are some quick sketches of some animals I saw on the internet and I fucking love this raccoon. I, it's, oh, it's so cute. And here is a drawing with markers. And this day I decided to buy markers. Like professional markers. This is like children markers. It's horrible. It was like draw, dried out and... Uh, it was horrible and I don't have a lot of uh, markers from this brand so I had to get some more colors here is again something I drew what I saw in real life and here I got my uh, mechanical pencils and I tried them out here is uh, another watercolor painting of um, Mia Wallace and here again like quick sketches I saw on TikTok here another uh, water, watercolor <laughs> water 
watercolor drawing, painting, and I try to do like a, I try to do <laughs> um, underwater cave, and it didn't work out as I imagined it, but we know it's all practice. Oh my god, uh, I can't show this like completely. Um, there was another poll on Instagram what to draw and the person said draw boobs and here like I was like oh I'm finishing the sketchbook so I have to do it like a little bit quicker because I can't stand having like just a few pages left so I did some poses and some crayons and some poses. Ah, and there are the <laughs> flowers I told you. Um, it wasn't that much. That's good, how I imagined it. But it's like much more better than the flowers in the beginning. Okay, this one, not this one. But like the, it's like more confident. The lines are more confident. And it, the lines are more confident at this point. So I did something. Here is another drawing with pencil and um, colored pencils. Yeah, this is not marker, this is colored pencil. I like this a lot. It's so cool. Here I had my first sketch for Inktober. I thought I will prepare it in advance. But I didn't. But I kept this idea because I love it for the first day. Here are some leaves. And here is a hand. And this is all. I finished the book. I write something to myself again. And I'm pretty happy.